Good morning, church. Good morning. Yeah, Nyakopasi. We thank God for everything. Amen. And we thank God for another great day. Amen. Every day that you have life, every day that you can talk, every day that you can eat, every day that you can laugh, every day that you can jump around, every day that you can hold your wife or your husband, you always say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Because life is too what? Short. And the life that God has given to you, you have to make use of it. So we come Sunday, I see all of you in such a good spirit, and it's a blessing from God. Amen. At this moment, not all people have got this opportunity. You know what is going on? People who have been trapped, even our African brothers and sisters in Libya, they have no way out. Over two or three hundred people living in a room. So things are going on in this way. And we must always be grateful for what God has done for us. Amen. Until we will hand the part. And so we done Yakupon as it. So Yakupo and to me I'm this opportunity. So we didn't know for Ebesia. Now Mutun John Muntumi and Sum Yakopo our home home and it no problem. In tea ten biano and say yeah dine yakopo as it. Amen. Yeah da unyano or kind bab no am I no and so as it. We thank the brother who read the Bible for us. And uh, our Bible reading was taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. He said, Therefore rejoice, O ye heavens, and they that dwell in them. For the devil has been cast out of you. So you have to rejoice, O ye heavens, and you that dwell in them. Because the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night, has been cast down. But woe unto the inhabitants of what? Of the earth. For the devil has come back to you, having great wrath, because he knows he has but a short while time. So the title of my sermon today is the battle of good and evil. Papa and a bonnie. Papa and a bonnie. The battle of good and evil. And my hope is that I want my brothers and my sisters to understand what is going on. So that that might encourage your faith to stand firm in what you have, so that you will not be swayed. Well, so we need the apostle. Aya ema uji di enu muso eden eden. I see. So the battle of good and evil. God is our great and good man. Is fighting for us. Satan is the evil what man. He wants to let us what down. This battle is going on. In Tokwawi, a castle, but it reaches a certain level, and the victory came from Jesus what? Christ. Amen. But the Bible will not make king the Christ say, Abosam went to me Christ. 
ain't he? He is going to fight the children of what? Christ. And who are the children of Christ? It's you and what? And I. So, the battle of good and evil is going on. The question is, what is man? I don't think for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Life. Why? And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nurses the breath of life. And man became a living what? Soul. So who is man? Why is God that why does God love us so much that He has to send His only begotten what? Son. So we are the center of the battle. Man is the center of the battle. In Psalm 8, verse 4. He said, What is man that you are mindful of? The son of man. You made him a little lower than the what? The angels. And crowned him with glory and what? And honor. And you gave all things that you created for him to rule over them. What is man? We are in the center of the battle between good and white and evil. A lot of things going on. So man is so important in the creation of what? God, that we are in the center. One songwriter wrote that the love of God is greater, far than tongue and pen can even what? Tell the love of God for man. So God doesn't want to leave us. God wants to send us to a place. But the evil one said he will not go to what? Alliance. So you all take your Bible, you turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 12, and we are going to learn about the battle of good and what? Evil. And evil today. The battle of good and evil is going on. You see, you can't come even to church on Sunday. Last two weeks, I was in Ohio. I visited the Ohio Church of what? Christ. Christ. So we were having discussions. Oh, ni animal pee, oh, my kwejima, and no, it's not sorry, I then. I said, then it reminds me of what? Yeah. My own what? Okay. Praise also. That uh, <laughs> you do, if we're at a certain Sunday, you see a whole lot of people have gone to what? Work and and uh, yeah, and your money kind. I had a battle of good and what yeah. evil. I was some the baby have a two financial difficulty. You can't even hold yourself, so you have to run and go to church on the Lord's what day. It's the battle of good and evil. Adia Obia, what who are Christian who call you the Adena Eden? Anya ye, Anya ye. Why then? Why true? It's the battle of good and white and evil. And if I was sorry, and I won't me who when you wake up this morning, you don't know whether you should come to church or you should even continue your what? Your sleep. The devil is forcing this way, and God is also forcing this way. It's the battle of good and white and evil. It's the battle of good and evil. 